Good afternoon, children. So this is the second video for the chapter. In the first video, I have already told you the things. I have discussed the title, the characters, the theme, the plot, and lot many other information I have shared. So this is the second video for the chapter. And in this video, you know, I am going to narrate you the story in my way of telling you the story. So you know, why do I choose to tell you the story in spite of teaching you from the textbook? So you know, I find so many obvious reasons for this. One of the reasons, you know, that when you are narrating a story, when you narrate a story, a complete story, from the first to the last, you know, to narrate the story, you require a lot of things. You need to have all the sequence of the stories in a in arrange in your mind. You need to have a some kind of expression. You need to have some kind of command over the grammar. And then, then, then it also, you know, it requires a, a kind of communication. Unless you have all these things in you, you know, it's it's really tough to uh, that uh, narrate any story. And that's why, you know, I prefer narrating my story rather than holding a book in my hand and reading that text to line and explaining the meaning. Because you know, this this really, you know, instills a kind of confidence in you and it makes you a good speaker. And that is what I want my children to be. I want my children to be a good speaker, and that's why I choose to narrate you the story rather than teaching you from a book. So this is this is one reason. So here I go. I am narrating you the story. So the name of the chapter I already know that is rat trap. The chap the chapter is about a rat trap seller, a tramp or a peddler or a vagabond. He is called all these things because you know he doesn't have a you know fixed place to stay in, and that's all. Now let us talk about what is his life, how does he live his life, what does he do for a day. So he is a rat trap seller, and he makes the uh, his uh, rat traps, and uh, for making the rat traps, you know he collects the material. Sometimes he makes the material, and he makes the rat trap, and then he goes on selling. But at the same time, you know, the selling rat trap is not a very profitable business. And to make both and means, you know, sometimes he has to beg and sometimes he also has to commit small thefts. And we see him that you know he is into the rags of clothes. His clothes are torn, right? His cheeks are sunken, and there we can see that you know hunger is gleaming into his eyes. So this is this we see uh, as a rat trap seller. This is this is the main character, the hero of the story. And then we see, you know, when he when he sometimes goes for selling the rat trap, you know, he gets engrossed with the idea of rat trap so much that you know sometimes he thinks that this entire world is like a rat trap, like a rat trap offers you know cheese and pork to rats, and rats get tempted. And that's a trap. Similarly, this entire world, on large, also acts as a rat trap. And the world also, you know, offers joys and comforts and tries to trap people. So this is the central idea of the story. Now, one evening, what happens? You know, rat trap was trudging his way. He was moving, you know, with the very heavy steps. And it had gone dark, and then he was thinking where he will stay for the night. And then he came to a cottage. You know, he knocked uh, at the door, and then he found an old man coming and very warmly welcoming him. He was a crofter. Now the crofter was a very talkative person, and he was a very hospitable person as well. Now he lived a very lonely life. He did not have his wife. He did not have have his children. So when he got this rat trap, he was very happy. He was more than happy, and he started talking to him. And he told him that you know, in the old good ways of his hospitality, he worked at the that Arab ransom mill, and now he lived. You know, he had certain cows, and uh, that is how he lived his life. And he also told him that you know that he had managed to save some thirty krona. Krona is what? Krona K and O R and krona 
is known K R O N O R Krona is a currency for the Swedish country for the Sweden. So he told him that he had said thirty Krona, but somehow the crofter understood, you know, that this paddler was not believing his words, and that tried to make him believe that what he had said was true. He brought those thirty Krona and showed him. Now at night they slept. And early in the morning, both of them they left together. But then we see that this that that fellow he came back after half an hour, and he knew exactly where the thirty corner that money was kept. It was it was hung next to the by the side of the window. So he broke the window by giving it a punch, and then he took the thirty corners, put it into his pocket, and then he went on. And then, you know, he knowingly did not take the normal route that the highway because he thought that since he had stolen thirty crore from the doctor, so there might be chances that he might be caught. So that's why he took a road from into the forest. But then he kept moving into the forest for a long time, and then you know, then he was lost. He was not able to come out of the forest. He thought, you know, that the forest with the dense trees and stems and branches, it acted like a prison. And from that prison, he was not able to come. And then he got reminded of his own own philosophy that the entire world being a rat trap. And he thought, since he had stolen thirty crore from the doctor, and that's why he was caught. Now he was so exhausted that he was not able to move. And then he sat down, and he was thinking that he would die sitting there. But after some time, he heard some kind of humming of hammers, and then he thought, you know, there must be some kind of animal around. And then he summoned all his strength, and then he started moving in that direction. And going there, he found yes, there was a animal. It was that hamster so animal. There was a smelter. There was rolling. Well, there was fault, and when he entered, you know, his his uh, coming into the fault was not noticed by the blacksmith because the people were busy in their work, and it was there was not that hot light. That was there was not very bright light. But you know that uh, when he asked the art master whether he could stay there for the night, though he was allowed to stay, but then you know that. Uh, Our master was very arrogant, very haughty, and he talked in a with a lot of attitude. Now at night, what happened? You know, they are killed. Our master, the owner of the iron man, and when he came and when he saw this uh, peddler, he took him to he took him to his old friend, old friend, a regimental comrade, and it was Nils Oso, his friend. And then you know he was he felt very sorry to find his friend in that condition, and then he offered him to take to his house. At this, the family you know beginning he did not deny, he did not clarify that he was not that person because he thought that you know he would get some money. But at last, when the iron master offered him to take home, he refused because you know he thought that if he went his home, it would be like. Going into the den of a lion, and then he refused. The iron, the iron master also told him, you know, that he could come to his house because there is nobody. There is only his daughter Edna, his wife, you know, Elizabeth, and uh, there was no more there, and his children were settled in abroad. But you know, uh, the spaniel could not be convinced, and the iron master came into his home. Now coming to his home, he explained all this. Daughter, that you know, I saw my friend there, and he is such and such condition. He is having a very tough time. So, could you please go and invite him to come to our house for the Christmas? Now, the daughter, the daughter came, and the came, and you know, when he saw, when he saw this traveler, she thought him either to be a prisoner or or a or thief, you know, who had run away from a from a prison. And then you know. On his interaction, she understood that this man did not seem to have any, you know, uh, any any sign of uh, 
or being educated, but anyhow, their adder requested it in such a way that at this time the adder could not refuse, and then the family decided to come or with her along to their house. Now the next morning was the next day was the Christmas Eve, and the father and daughter they were discussing the art master and adder were discussing that they could not allow their friend to live his life this way. He must be offered some other business to contact with his life. But you know, Adla had always had doubt that he was not that person. Anyhow, the next morning when he came, he was groomed in nice clothes and it was quite, you know, broad daylight. So there was no problem for the iron master to recognize that, you know, the, uh, the person whom he had brought, thinking him as a, his friend, he was not his friend. At this, the iron master triggered him that he would hand over him to the police, to the sheriff. And he said, no, the paddler, he was not frightened. He said that, that is fine. I would get into my uh, old clothes bag and I would leave the house. But at what you are telling, you know, that you would hand over me to the sheriff. I want to tell you that in the first place, I was not coming to your house by my own. You people forced me to come to your house. And, you know, the paddler also told the headmaster that you also, you are being mistaken. Because, you know, the entire world works as an trap and you are also doing a mistake. Now, when Iron Master having a exchange of hot words and threatening the paddler, and this Adler came to the to the event and she, you know, requested her father that the poor man might be allowed to stay for the Christmas because it seems that you know the man had not eaten and he had not slept for a long time. At this, Iron Master got convinced and then he was allowed to stay. Now for the whole day, the paddler did not do anything except sleeping. And it felt that, you know, he had not slept for a long time. And then he preferred only sleeping all the time. And the next day was Christmas. So the father and the daughter, they went to the church to offer their, to offer their prayer and to do with the worship. At church, they heard some kind of, you know, a kind of view that there was a man out and that man had dropped the cloth of his particular nose. And this guy must have understood that the man who was at their home was the thief. And they were worried that what if he, if he could take away all the silver and valuables. So they hurried back to their home and coming to their home, they asked their servant, you know, that the man was still there and this the servant said that the man had left but he had not taken anything but he had left something back he had left her that trap as a gift for the daughter and he said that at that there were three wrinkled 30 or 10 corners notes that had to be that, that was supposed to return to the proctor and there was a note also left by the that the seller in that note that the trap had mentioned, you know, that he thanked uh, he thanked Adla for treating him and giving him all nice treatment for for a captain. And he said that only because of his that nice treatment given to him, he was able to come out from the rat trap of this world and finally he had become a nice man. At the end of the note he had signed himself as captain Bona Sahel. So that is the end of the story. We see that you know how a person who was in the beginning a kind of thief, you know, eventually turned into a, a very good person. That is only because of the nice treatment given by Adla to the panda. And that is the theme of the story, you know, that the essential goodness in a man can be awakened by love and understanding. So children, this was the complete story. And you know, first you listen to the story once and twice. And after that, you go through the textbook and I can tell you with 101% assurance that when after I listen to my dad's story, when you go through the story, you will not find any problem to understand it. Now, the story is done in the third video of this fourth chapter, I will come out with some question answers. God bless you and thank you.